Hello and welcome to Business Today with me, Arunodaya Mukherjee. Starting with uh, some news that is developing as we speak, Asian markets have been tanking this morning with uh, Tokyo stocks falling more than 7% in early trade. Uh, a surging yen and poor data coming out of the US has also fueled fears of a recession there. Investors are also concerned that interest rates will have to come down sharply and much quicker to try and support growth. Well, uh, we've got a few interest rate decisions coming up in the region this week as well, including Australia, where uh, Peter Maguire, a financial analyst, uh, joins me from. Uh, Peter, thank you very much once again for coming up here on Business Today. Well, we saw that massive sell-off last week. What is driving today's market movements? Well, I think it's a couple of things. First off, you've had heavily leveraged positions in like Japanese stock markets and the Nikkei and the topics, and they're unwinding. So those derivative trades need to be unwound. And you've seen a big sell-off since July 11 peak. You're down nearly 20%. So it's entering very close to that bear market territory. So there's a lot of um, fear into the market, and that's a big sell-off in such a you know short window of time. Uh, Peter, the Fed indicated it would cut rates in the month of September, but that was before the disappointing jobs data came out from the US. Uh, what's your feeling on that now? Well, it looks like, you know, everyone's saying if you're the likes of the big investment banks, tw- 25 basis points is pretty much baked in. But now they're saying is 50 going to be the target number. And I feel as though with sentiment, really, if, if you see a pullback as far as equity markets and this starts to ratchet up over the month of August, I think the Fed will be left with no other decision other than 50 basis points. So maybe the city banks are the right, uh, they're, they're guessing in the right direction. And, and Peter, we've been talking about this and covering this uh, in, in, in our shows, but can you break down for us why investors are so concerned that interest rates are not coming down as quickly as they would like and how it impacts this region? Well, I think a couple of things. First off, unemployment numbers. So if they're weak numbers and you're looking at weak consumption, quite simply because of inflation and you're having hurt on Main Street, all of these factors play into consumption and market sentiment and, of course, positive views as far as where you are in the economy. So these are all, I suppose, little road bumps at the moment that could actually gain momentum and that's creating a sense of Um, I I suppose, panic in the market from a retail derivative place. And before I let you go, the surging yen is also squeezing exporter profits in Japan. How does that issue get addressed? Well, you've had a 15 basis point hike. The Bank of Japan had their second rate rise this year, and that was the first time, I think, in about 17 years. So there's the first part of it. The second part is you've had a massive move to the upside as far as yen versus US dollar and many other cross rates. And I feel as though at the momentum at the moment, that may continue. So it seems to be the trade at the moment has been very strong, uh, long currency, and uh, everyone's been short equities. All right, uh, Peter Maguire, we'll leave it there. Always a pleasure having you on the program. Thank you very much.